Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I love to DIY. Now as promised, I want to take you guys behind the scenes for a few craft projects I made for a women's empowerment event that I actually held last weekend, which was very successful. And if any of you ladies are watching this, thank you so much for coming out. I enjoyed the time together. Now, if you're curious to see how I made a few of these items, go ahead and stay tuned and click the like button if you like any of these. Thank you for watching. First, we have these glitter gemstone letters that I got 50% off of $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. Scrapbook paper that you can get at any craft store. I got this particularly at Michael's. Now we're going to take the blinged out picture frame that I made in a prior video. Go ahead and click the icon to see the video if you have yet to do so. Now I'm taking off the backing of the picture frame and pulling out the glass so I can use it as a template for my scrapbook paper. And all we're going to do is take the letters and adhere it onto the scrapbook paper. I'm going to spell out the words mind, body, and soul because that is the name of the event I will be hosting. Next, I'm gonna take this lavender scented Epsom salt that I found at Walmart for less than two bucks. Like this stuff, it smells so good. And it's for less than two dollars. Talk about a deal. And then you're gonna take these mesh doilies that I found at my local thrift stores. These do come off as a little transparent, but they are definitely baby pink. And they are so cute when you use them for like favors. And I found mine at the local thrift store for 25 cents. Now we're going to take this pack of mini cups, which are pretty much just condiment cups where usually I make DIY jello shots, but this time I'm going to use it for something a little different. Then we're going to take some rubber bands as well as this ribbon that I found at Michael's during their 90% Christmas sale. And it is just pretty with the baby pink and silver detailing. And last but not least, we got some scissors. Now I'm just taking the mesh doily and I'm taking the condiment cups and filling it up with the Epsom salt. So now that we're done filling up the container, what we're gonna do is just assemble it all together so it can be pretty party favors so my guests can take home at the end of the night. So for the next DIY, we're going to take these stylish sacks that I found at my local Goodwill for 20 cents for the pack and this glitter tape, which is basically just glitter or washi tape that I found for a dollar in my local Target. And we're going to take this pack of silver plastic spoons that I found at my local Dollar Tree. Last but not least, we're going to take these plastic sticks that I found at Michael's after their 70% off Valentine's Day sale. And we're going to place the sticks as well as the plastic spoons that I found at the Dollar Tree into the sack. Apart from being extra AF, 
essentially, I just wanted my guests to have the essentials needed to mixing their oils and scrubs together. And honestly, I'm glad I went the extra mile doing so because it made it a whole lot easier as the night went on to just already have the supplies needed to mix each item. And I'm just taping up each sack and we were good to go. Okay, so for the last DIY project, we're gonna take those same napkin ring holders that we DIY'd in the last video, and we're gonna take these washcloths that I found at Walmart. It's a pack of 18 for less than $4. And what we're gonna do is roll up each towel and stick them into the napkin ring holders. Basically, this is just gonna be a aesthetically pleasing way to display the towels that the guests would need to pat dry for after their facials.